Welcome back to Music Free Gaming. Where I am trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Actually, I kind of sort of know what I'm going to do. I just have to do it. Also, I kind of sort of have to uh, get my chat set up and all that other fun stuff. So, if you all have had a good day today, I just offended my kids um, because I told them that the cupcakes that we had had too much frosting and they looked at me like I had, you know, lost my mind. Um, they're apparently, uh, they, they disagreed. So, <laughs> so there we go. Oops. I can't jump over that fence anymore. <laughs> I have to go through the door. Alright, I'm going to need to pick up some dirt. Uh, I think I'm going to pickaxe, so that'll be good. Alright, so back into the castle. Alright, now comes the fun. Wherein I uh, dig out all of this stone and make... Uh, and fill it in with dirt because you know I want a grassy area here and I can't do that turns out grass does not grow on stone um, just as a general rule grass and stone don't mix kind of like oil and water but with more Okay, that's kind of interesting. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. What type of cupcakes were those? Um, they were like. It was just a basic yellow cake recipe. Okay, just yellow cake? With, um, strawberry jello. Ah. Yellow cake with strawberry jello. That works. Frosting needed more lemon, though. <laughs> I couldn't even tell it was lemon. Did I say that? I didn't even know it was lemon. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't tell it was lemon. Yeah, it was too sweet for my taste. So that's. But uh, I'm just not as young as I used to be, I guess. But everyone else enjoyed them, so. Which is a good thing, because we had all sorts of cupcakes. It was only 30. It's only 30 cupcakes for six of us. That was, that's a lot of cupcakes. It only means each of us could have had five. Like I said, lots. <laughs> um, well, it's not like it was like 139 or something. Well, that's true. We, we kept it under 100, which is probably a good thing. <laughs> okay. Grab the other pickaxe. I'm probably going to need two or three more of these. As I, uh, oops, whip through here. Oh, and it just occurred to me, while I opened my chat, I not, don't actually have the tab open that has the chat in it, so... <laughs> jump over there and grab that real quick. Good news is I have lots and lots of dirt. I have all the dirt. I'm like a reporter from the National Enquirer. I've got all the dirt. Huh. Thought I grabbed a block of 64. Oh well. Maybe I did and I just already used it. Say I'm gonna dirt in all of this, this here, and then this over here, and make it all grassy. Um, obviously, except not right underneath the fence or. Uh, and this I'm gonna leave stone as well. Uh, 
the idea that, hey, um, the tower's built on stone. It's okay. <laughs> and besides, it's sort of a garden, so... This one I don't think I'm going to go with the wild flowers growing through it like I did. Oops. Well, I have exactly enough dirt. What well, do you know? Alright, let me go make uh, two or three more pickaxes and grab some more dirt. This all end up moving all of... So there's one... To uh oh, don't need the bones. Don't need that granite. One of these boxes. There we go. I do need a few more sticks. Okay, should be enough for a while. And theoretically, I have enough light that. Uh, I can keep working through the night and be just fine. At least that's the theory. So. Let's see. I'm just trying to see if I have anything exciting talk about. Not really. Just, uh, just not really. Um, <laughs> partly because I just haven't gone to read the news really today. And, you know, what, what fun things are happening in the world of movies or gaming or gaming movies. fun and exciting bits of useless trivia. Now, we're big fans of useless trivia at my house, but still. <laughs> well, it's funny, my dad likes to uh, get my kids uh, bathroom readers, which if you haven't seen the, the Uncle John's bathroom readers, they're worth checking out, especially if you like, you know, useless trivia. They, uh, um, because they are full of it. They have great little, uh, um, segments of various lengths designed for a comfortable reading while you are otherwise occupied in the bathroom. And a lot of it's just, you know, useless trivia. It's, but most of it is interesting. I don't think I've um, seen too many that are just totally boring or anything like that. Okay. You know, the other thing I'm going to need to do over here is uh, figure out some sort of lamp post to, to do that'll look cool. <sighs> That's going to be... Well, there are a couple of standard ways of doing lampposts, but... Uh, the uh, Sort of the traditional way is uh, glowstone or jack-o'-lanterns on a stick. Or, as Jeff Dunham would say, on a stick. Um, and, uh... Yeah. And then surround them by, um, surround them by like fence posts or something, or fence posts, uh, okay. trap doors. Fence posts and trap doors are totally not the same thing. <clears throat> All right, I have another one of those. Let me see. I'm gonna definitely gonna need to go get some more dirt. Smoky. 
Ta-da! It's like a birthday cake, but less tasty. Hey, gravel. Dig <laughs> this gravel out in a hurry. I was just about to say, oh, I can also dig all this dirt out in a hurry. That would have been dumb. Since I'm planting dirt here. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Jeff Dunham is funny. Yeah. First time I saw him, he must have been early in his career, but uh, I was on a cross country trip with my mom and sisters. We were heading out to heading out east to visit family, and we were driving out in this uh, old VW bus and it was a that was a fun car to ride in it was, uh, it was all sorts of cool but uh, it was all yeah well, got one just in case um, but the problem is that uh, the air-cooled engine did not like summer very well and it overheated I don't know if that that dirt's gonna become grassy I don't know. hope so and so of course given that it uh, could handle the overheating well and the heat of the trip it broke down a couple of times and ended up leaving us stranded in the middle of Kansas. In the middle of a little bitty town in the middle of Kansas. So, so we're sitting here and we're in this uh, motel room. And I think my mom went to take a shower and my sisters and I were sitting there watching TV. Now, I was, I'm the oldest and I think I was probably, I don't know, eight um, so yeah we were little but we're flipping channels and stopped on on this uh, it's like a stand-up comedy special something like that and the first person on was Jeff Dunham and so we're watching him do his thing with uh, um, I don't remember if we saw Walter but we definitely saw Peanut and Jose Jalapeno on a steak. And my sisters and I, for the rest of that trip, anytime we saw anything, it was on a steak. I mean, we were just everything. I guess I can put dirt there. Um, and my mom got out of the shower and he had just finished his set and was starting it and um, I guess Rita Rudner was the next comedian who was on and she of course was hilarious as well um, because she is a very funny woman um, but mom we tried to explain to her what that was what on a steak was and I don't think we succeeded um, <laughs> but uh, but it kept us entertained for what became a sort of rough trip. Turns out crossing, going cross country on uh, via Greyhound with uh, a bunch of little kids is not the most people's idea of fun. I don't know that it was really our idea of fun either, though. As kids, uh, the bus riding the bus wasn't that much different than riding in the car, you know. Um, But uh, but that helped keep us kids sane for some strange reason. And uh, which then helped keep my mother sane, <laughs> which is which was a good thing too, I think. Um, 
And so we, we finished our trip out east, and it wasn't as bad as it could have been. Which, again, good thing for everyone involved. Oops. Um, but I spent years trying to figure out who the comedian was. Who was this ventriloquist with, with a jalapeno on a stick? I don't even remember if I remembered it was a jalapeno, actually. I might have. Um, but, uh, but I finally found him. <laughs> and, uh, we, uh, and now I have, I think, three of his specials. I know he just had another one show up on YouTube not too long ago. Or YouTube, um, Comedy Central. Um, and when it was on NBC, um, but what they showed on NBC was, frankly, not that good. Um, but apparently, they edited it down quite a bit. Um, and so a significant, significantly longer version showed up on uh, Comedy Central. But, uh... So, yeah, it was... But he's funny. I don't like all of his characters. I mean, I could... Um... Ah, I'm out of dirt. I mean, I could kind of do without Bubba J most of the time, and... Um, he, had a, he had another one, I don't remember the name, it was his, uh, he was, he was, uh, it's the role, he said his puppet was his campaign, or his, uh, manager, his campaign manager, it's like he's running for office, no, it was his, uh, talent agent, or manager, or something like that, he was annoying, but most of the rest of them were were funny and I laughed a lot. <laughs> Which, you know, is sort of what you want out of a comedian is to make you laugh a lot. Okay. I hear zombies and things bursting into flames. So. The poor skeleton tried to hide under my bridge or my, my pier. It was unsuccessful. Okay, so I now have, um, all sorts of good stuff happening there. All right, so now what I need to do, uh, I don't have any wool. I'm going to have to start my animal farm here in the not too distant future. Go ahead and drop off, uh, all this stone, which I do not need right now. And come pick up some pumpkins. Which uh, are through this door. Alright, I have I have not an axe. Well, that's alright. Also, I'm going to have to start thinking about cooking some charcoal. All right. Um, there, I move, I move some of the stuff out of the way so I can get plantables. Things like seeds and carrots and potatoes. Also, better grab some of those pumpkins. Harvest time. Yeah. If you can, anytime you build a farm, you know, automate at least that much of it. <laughs> because that's going to save you all sorts of time. I mean, you can go real crazy with fully automated farms with actual farmers who come out and farm, but... Um, that gets really, really crazy, so. 
not bad, just, you know, there's a lot to that. Also, you have to have a farmer nearby. Or be in creative mode where you can just spawn a farmer. Okay. Is that plant through here? And I'll do a few more carrots. Carrots at least give reasonable health without having to cook them. Which is not true of uh, potatoes. Just throw those seeds in there. Okay. Make sure I didn't accidentally uh, do something a little silly. Oops. Missed a carrot. Huh. Missed a couple of carrots. Okay. Carrots, potatoes, potatoes. I'm actually going to need to make uh, not some bread. I'm going to. I have a project in mind that's going to need some need some hay bales. So start collecting those here too. All right. Since I haven't yet closed that off. Oops, it's easy. All right. So now, I need. Oh, I don't have enough wood. Okay, so I'm gonna need some torches. I think that'll be enough. Cause I need to make some tools. Yes, jack o' lanterns. Well, that's a good start. All right. So this is gonna be where the I'm going to be putting a carpet here eventually that's going to lead up to the um, throne. And I'm just going to line it with both jack-o'-lanterns. So eventually they'll be covered with the carpet. But um, this will well, this will give some hidden light, which will be fun. Allow me to get rid of a handful of these torches that are in the middle of the floor. Like that one. Actually, pretty much all of these that are right here, I think I can get rid of. I will have plenty of light. Um, also, need to. Yeah, we'll move this torch up, I think. Yeah, now let's see. Do I want to come all the way down? Meeny, meeny, miny, mo. I think I'll come back. Whoa! Sure. I just have the minor dilemma. Of not having anything I can set pumpkins on. Okay. One more. Okay. Let me run down to my workshop over here. And I can take out the take out this dirt. Yeah, actually a couple of these torches. Yes, and eventually I'll do something with that workshop. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to do like 
yellow carpet up this way and I was thinking blue instead of red carpet coming up this way which would be cool all right so how's the grass growing not so well right under there but uh, or else it's now or almost there anyway so what I want to do now is put up a couple of, put a path and the path is going to be done with um, gravel just a little bit and I'm actually going to do it with coarse dirt cobblestone or gravel which uh, I think I can do this one hmm maybe this one yes there it is okay so this coarse dirt is cool it gives you sort of that dirt look um, but it won't, won't take grass which is cool So at the very least, I'm going to put some here. Now, I think, let's see, how do I want to do this? Do I want to do it just one wide, or do I want to make it wider? So I know I just planted that. So I think I'll come back this way. Okay. And so we'll take the coarse dirt. Yeah, I could do gravel, of course. Just straight gravel would look cool. Or I could do something else and do a path, but I kind of like the the dirt um, yeah I don't know too wide okay so that's kind of nice with this nice path going here I'll grow back in and then I think I'm going to bring some coarse dirt this way. Right? Again, that'll grass back in. And over here, I think I'm going to put another... I think I'm going to put a, like a sunken uh, pool. So... Let's see something like right. Let's see. So I'm kind of like this. And I think what I'm going to do here is let's see. obviously take this all this dirt out. I know, I just put it there. Okay. And so what I want to do... Is... Uh, I think I'm going to do stone brick. I think we'd, it could be nicer with something else here, but... Stone brick. do stone brick here along the outside like this actually I'm going to take out the, the corners <clears throat> and just put uh, so it's got a little more of a rounded look to it 
Oops. Corner. I don't know. Hmm. Actually, I just had a crazy idea. So instead of doing... <clears throat> Um, bricks there to do slabs. Let me try this in one, one place here. Okay, maybe maybe right here. Nope. Phone's ringing. Oh no! Okay. Okay, so <clears throat> so let's see if I just drop this right here like this. That'll make it a little larger. Oops. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll do this. It'll be larger, but... It'll be cool. It'll be cooler, actually, I think. Also, I think what I want to do is, under the slabs, put... Um, ah, what I, I'm, I'm out of space. Okay, well, let me just turn all of those into jack. Oh, am I out of torches? I am. Okay. So let me do this. At least under here. Now, obviously, when I put the slabs down, it'll be dimmer, but not dark. Because slabs in Minecraft are transparent. Oops, that's not where that's going to go. That's actually going to be one of those. Okay. So, just pop this out real quick. And, uh... Alright, take this out too. Okay, so I'll do the check letters all around there. Uh, yeah, right there, and yeah, I don't think I put one, put them in the corners, so like that. Right, and so, oops, I meant to eat those carrots at first. Let me swap those in. Sorry. Remember to eat carrots. <laughs> okay, take this out. Do I need more? Yeah, I'm going to need more slabs. Okay. So let me do it this way. A couple jack lanterns there, and a couple right there. That'll work. All right. Oh, actually, it's going to stay there. And again, I'm out of space. But I can make space. One, two, three, there. So again, shovel. Half one. Oops. Okay. Yep. 
Yeah. Um, did I screw that up? Probably. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. Let's see. So... So this is going to be outside here like that. Let me put these in. Okay, yeah. So that goes there. And that goes there. And now I'll just need to get some... Make some more slabs. And get some water. Cool. Progress is being made. Now it's just a matter of getting up the stairs without making myself dizzy. <clears throat> Ooh. Okay. I didn't realize I still had seeds. Okay, so let's see. So I'm going to run down. It's going to take a couple of trips to get all the water because I only have one bucket. <laughs> and I, it currently is empty. Donkey. Oh, and I forgot to go make go make slabs first because the <laughs> put them in before I put the water in. It's a lot easier. You know. Okay. And I need to drop off cobblestone and some gravel. Okay. Oh, I can probably drop off that flint, too. Okay. Slowly, slowly. It's all coming together. Do I still have my coarse dirt? Yes. So that'll that'll go in here in a minute too. Okay. Darn it. I missed. <laughs> I missed. Okay. So fills that little space. Almost. Sad thing is, I don't think you can put water on slabs, which would be really cool, but. So, up the diesel. Alright, so now I should be able to just put it right there. And put some right there, right there. Oh. Okay. Now can I put some there? I can. That's not quite the look I'm going for. The uh. Though I have to admit, the floating water look is a little strange. I mean, it's sort of, sort of odd, actually. 
it's just whoa <laughs> almost went uh, a little far there Whoa, whoa, yep, yeah, too far, too far, too far. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> too much. <laughs> too much. <laughs> it, it's, it's overflowing. I've overflowed my fountain. All right, um, let's grab some regular. And, uh, I'll just, uh, oops, come on, <clears throat> I can do it, I can stop this water, I'm gonna have to go pick up a bunch of torches, okay, um, <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. This definitely went badly. So let me, uh... Okay. Okay. Um, that's what I get for living dangerously, I suppose. <clears throat> All right. Of course, uh, I'll put these torches back. Okay. So, I'll just do it this way. So this is one way to get rid of water. Best way? Maybe not, but certainly one way. Okay. I think Water contained. Water is contained. Okay. <laughs> Carrots are really nourishing. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, that, it is sort of an odd water feature there, but, uh, but, okay. <laughs> oh, you know what would be really cool there, though, is a pavilion coming up out of maybe the, the corners here. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna need some fence posts. Some fence and some some sort of shingles. All right. Um. So that's spruce fence. Do I have some other? No. So I can just do spruce, that's okay. I think I'm gonna want 12. I don't know what I'm gonna do for the for the top here. Come on, run. I think I'll come in here 
two and three. So one, two, oops, two and come on, three. And three. I'm too close. There, three. Still too close. There. Ha! Ah, come on. There. Now, what to? What sort of roof to put on this? Actually, you know what? I think I want to do it one higher. So, I need to go make some more fence, but but then again, that question, what sort of roof to put on this? I'm going to do I think I think I might do some stone stair roof on that one. Alright, so a couple things then. I guess I need one more thing, a fence. And I have some stone brick. Actually, do I already have some made up? I do. Okay, so I need stairs. Uh, I don't think that's going to be enough. So, we've got a few more stone stairs here. Let's see if that's enough. Okay. Now. Use regular dirt instead of the uh, coarse dirt because that'll be easier to clean up. So one, two, and then let me do it this way. Ah, yes, got it right. Come on. Hey, just a little bit, thank you. Okay, yeah. Aiming is the, so hard for me. Okay. And now. Should yep, corners nicely. Actually, if I do this right, pop this right. Oh, wall. <laughs> Turns out I can't walk through walls, which would be a useful skill in some, sometimes in this game. However, right now I need to. Actually, be up here. Oops, that was one too far. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so I'll get the stairs going over this way too. Now what I'm going to do is uh, I'll get the stairs up here. Hmm, same problem. Jump up a little bit. Okay. Now, 
just uh, run these across like that. There we go. Now here's where things are going to get fun. Let me get up on top here. And go ahead and run the stairs around this way. Yep, definitely going to need more stairs. I'm also going to do something else here, which we'll see how well it works. What I want to do is grab some of these slabs. So I'll just show you. So I'm going to kick these some slabs in here. Like right right in here. Oops, darn it. Not quite what I had in mind there. <clears throat> and there. Oops. Let's better go down here and pick up this other slab. Okay, anyway, what I want to do with them is uh, go and throw those there, put jack o' lanterns up here. Whoops, huh. too far, too far. But if I take the jack o' lanterns up here, like this. I think I can make one more. Yep. There. All right. So now I need a whole mess of stairs. Which have to go hit that crafting table. All right. Crafting table. Hey, crafting table. Go around the donkey, because, you know, why not? You know what? I might have to. Ooh, I was going to say, I might have to cook more stone, but turns out I have some cooked. Alright. So. I think that'll do it. Um, well, if I need slabs, I'll come down craft more slabs. my cursor there for a minute. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to slab around here like this. Oops, I might have to take out a couple of pumpkins. Yeah, I am going to have to take out a couple of pumpkins. No, that's okay. Is just fine. Okay, so. Kind of. Oh no. 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 Those two. No, they can't. They can't be there. Not if I want to put stairs here like this. There. Okay. 
Okay. And I'll... So that'll go there like that. Like that. And... Yep, I'm gonna need slabs. I need two for up there. And then some for the inside. Right? Because then what I'm going to do is just, uh, this looks like three, six, seven, eight. Eight slabs. All right. Since I'm again wondering, perilously, perilously close to being outside. <laughs> Wrong. Three. <clears throat> That'll do it. Great. Alright, slabs. Slabs. Beautiful slabs. Okay. Can I reach up there? That's the next question. Currently, can't jump out of the water high enough. Ah, too much. Too much slab. It's like slab overdose. Okay. All right. Getting filled my quick ladder up to the top here and slab over the top there wonderful Wonderbar. and that will light up the top of that and shine down onto the well for various definitions of shine I suppose but shine down onto the, the thing. So, yay, I guess. Ooh. Can I attach a... I don't think I can. Oh, I can. It kind of floats, but... Hmm. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. Here we go make a little bit more spruce fence. Let's see. And a few more torches. Yep, I'm gonna have to start cooking some wood. Okay. There's a few more torches and Okay, let's see if I can get, uh, let's see, three, four, five, no, I need a little bit more. There. You know, I put those, uh, jack-o'-lanterns up there, but now I'm going to. Do something else. So I do that right. You know what? I can just aim right not next to that one. That'll work. Ooh. You know, now as I'm looking at it. Oh, darn it. I was thinking I'd just throw a chandelier type thing there, but I'm too... have to come down a little bit more. Okay. 
So let's see there and there and there. There now. Can I? I don't think I can put a torch there. At least not, uh, not naturally anyway. I have to kind of get up here. Okay. Well, I can certainly put one more thing of dirt up there anyway. that no I think what I do is uh, take that off put one there so I'm gonna do it this way Okay, so up here until I can't be up anymore. Let's see, so I want one there, and there, and there. And actually, hmm, could take that out. I can put a torch on that one. I think I'm too. I think I'm, it's too close to the. Oh, I can. Cool. So it turns out those uh, jack o' lanterns in the ceiling. Yeah, not needed. <clears throat> Speaking of ceiling, turns out you can't uh, shove your head through a stone ceiling. Well, who'd have thunk it? I know, it's just strange. I mean. Okay. Pop on down. And now I have, you know, all sorts of fanciness. Hmm, now I'm wondering if I want to do one more round of stairs around around the outside of that. You think it's okay? Yeah. All right. My artistic daughter says it's okay, so I will listen to her. Okay. So that's cool. So I'm looking at this. Do I, <laughs> I want to plant like a mighty oak or something over here? Sort of. I don't think so. I think I'm okay. I've got the I've got this fountain here, which goes way down, like way down. And then I've got the this pavilion here with the magical water because it's slabs instead of. But you know, it's, it's a s symbol of my power over the elements because I am king. <laughs> All right, and then I'll come in. I said, I think I'll, well, you know. So I was thinking I might, I was going to glass that in, but now I just don't know. Because I could come and just put more cobblestone fence. And 
Call it good, you know. Or reverse it and put glass on this side and cobblestone fence over there. Huh. I definitely need to get up there and put in some some stained glass of some sort or other. Because you know, it'll be, it's it'll be cool. Okay. We're okay with the dirt where it goes. Yeah, I think so. So that's not gonna grass in because I've because it's already got stuff on it. Oh well. Okay, I think that's gonna be it until I can get a whole bunch of wool and some another rack. And a bunch of sand so I can do glass. And the sand is over there. <laughs> Way out there in the desert. Okay, so now All right, so I think what I'm going to do here, let me uh, get some sleep because it's night. And then I want to, um, I'm going to need to go and get a whole mess of oak. And maybe some birch, but definitely, definitely oak and some wood. I need some wood to burn for uh, charcoal. And then I need uh, some oak for some oak fence posts. Okay, so down we go. At some point I can fall down there without killing myself. Okay. here and off the donkey. In fact, what do I still have in inventory here? Huh, a door. Oh, good. Some hay bales. It's more summer. Okay, so I need a couple of axes. And I can drop off stone and gravel. I'm out of box. <laughs> okay. I still have room here. Okay. Let's go get some milk. Which, uh, ow. It's easiest to get over here because of this nice ice flow. Oh, I had some oak saplings too, back in the box, which I have neglected to pick up. too. So I'm going to need plenty of each. But the oak will, I'm going to use for um, a bunch of fence posts to be um, supports for my pier, which I haven't put in yet. I mean, the pier's there. But the, uh, Posts or not. Okay. Yeah. It's good enough.
Again, replant your forest when you do it. Because uh, at some point you will want those trees. Unless uh, you're just clearing the land for farmland, in which case, you know, you're okay. Okay, as I said, I really need oak, so I should actually cut down some oak. Um, Alright, so while I'm cutting this down, Y'all can take a moment to like the video and subscribe and donate and all that good stuff. I'll donate links in the description if you want to go that far. Um, or just go to gofundme.com slash musicfreegaming and, you know, do that. It'll be, it'll be epic. Um, come on. Ah. I see, there should be some more. So we're seeing some more drops. Oh, I wonder if this grass is going to get in the way of that. Uh, okay. Because... Oops. Turns out you have to use oak if you want to make oak things. I know, it's strange and confusing, but... <laughs> Okie okay, dokie. Okie okay, dorky. I'm assuming since a tree grew here that a tree will grow here. That might be a, an invalid assumption. Alright, so how am I doing here? Got, I think I've got enough of that. Let me go ahead and take some of this. Uh, grab some more birch. Either, uh, not that, you know, birch burns better or anything like that. It just, it's more obvious to say, hey, just toss this whole stack of birch in. And, uh, you know, that can all become charcoal. Actually, isn't a bad place to to have a piece of castle. Okay, we're gonna see if we get any more uh, saplings dropped around here. Yeah, actually, let me go ahead and move that one. There's this mighty oak in the way. Okay. Alright, lots of saplings. Plenty of wood. Okay. Let's meander back to the castle. Which, I have to say, looks kind of cool. You don't get that glass in up there. That'll be that'll be cool. Alright. Back up here.
Okay. One of these I had. Oh yeah, there we go. Alright. Go ahead and just cook the birch. Sticks and plenty of fence. All right, how is my daylight doing? Daylight's okay for now. Okay, so bring some fence right down to there. And some fence right on down to the water there. And, whoop. Oh. oh, come on, right? Come on. Okay. All the way down. Probably not. <laughs> Come on. All the way down has its own special appeal, but. Okay. And right there. Oops. Can I chop you down? Thank you. See, you know, getting some. Ooh, it's getting dark. I'm gonna go sleep the night away. I'm gonna go finish putting my uh, support pillars on the that pier that is just sort of floating out there. I have to make more, <clears throat> make more fence. Okay, which I think I'll just come do right here. Okay, I can do it. Probably more than enough. with the workshop. Oh, the other thing I think I want to do is uh, put the fence there. All right. Because the you know, all the way up. duck or duck chicken it could be a duck <laughs> all right and then I have to put some under there too but huh actually Here. And maybe some right about there. Yeah. 
Maybe I'm so right about there. Okay. So take these out. Okay, so under this one, there. And then Okay, get them all. Did now. There we go. <laughs> okay. So there. And on this side too, right there. Come on. There. And on this side. Oops. One and two. And I'm going to need a couple more fences to finish this off. But uh, one, two. Yeah, I definitely need one more there. And uh, actually, let me take these out here like this. Okay, so that'll go there. And do I have a I don't, so let me go ahead and mm. I don't know. Let me go and take these off. I'll put put the ones on the sides there and that'll at least give me most of the dock impression let's see where are they right here right yes right there one the other one's gonna be right here I hope Yes. There. I probably should put some right here. All right, that means a lot more fence. Probably. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, I think 15 will do it. <clears throat> Alright. So. Let's see, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if I 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right there. And right there. Okay. So I'm going to slap on down right there. And then, right. Oops, darn it. standing on it turns out <laughs> okay so now I have a fully supported pier so if you call for tech support they will provide it um, oh I have no fuel on me to make torches so uh, just grab some of that I think I should put uh, 
a few torches out there. Yeah. Or, well, I don't know. I'll set it put torches. Um, I really want to put torches on it, all of these. If I do, at least it'll mean I'll have a mostly monster free pier. It's a post. Put monster or put monsters on the post. Yeah, that's the deck. Well, that doesn't look too bad. A little bit, a uh, little bit weird, but not too bad. But yeah, I think that'll be okay. And I'm said still debating whether or not I'm going to build a big boat out there on the harbor docked on the, at the pier I think I eventually I'm going to because it will look cool you know having the ship docked there watch boom cow no cow cow no cow cow no cow <laughs> sorry <laughs> it's having, having too much fun with that okay so so far I have I have some finishing work I need to do, obviously. I don't know. What do you think? Should I leave? Should I glass this in or put stone fence here? Like I've got over there? Or, st or put stone fence there and glass this? Or should I stone fence both? Should I just leave the one layer of glass? Or I was thinking of filling this up. But I like it open as Okay. I'm gonna take this out because it looks stupid. Okay. So leave it so just leave this layer of glass here. Yeah. rather than fence which is nice because it gives me a way I can jump over here if I had to and jump back <laughs> yeah let's uh, take the plunge <laughs> so okay now here's a good test let's see what the light situation is over in the uh, pool pavilion area should be more than sufficient given the uh, the jack lanterns under the slabs there and the uh, nice uh, chandelier yeah that's okay Wait for it to get fully dark. As we watch the sunset. Sun is setting slowly now. All right. <laughs> okay. We basically have full night now. I think we have all sorts of lights now in that uh, nice, comfortable place to enjoy the magic waters. <laughs> Since uh, the water doesn't come up to the 
over the slabs, I guess. <laughs> suppose if I, I could move the bottom down one and put the water in the um, which would be which would work um, and I could probably do it without spilling all the water the rest of the fun is going to be uh, dealing with the water here. Deep breath. Okay. Breath. Okay. Should go get my helmet. I'm going to go get my helmet. <clears throat> yes, magic helmet. And I'll give you a sample. I haven't been wearing it because I don't want it to destroy it. I don't want to repair it. Oops. But it's got, uh, let's see, respiration, aqua affinity, you know, lots of good stuff on it. Okay. Do I have a shovel? I do, in fact, have a shovel. Seems like a silly place to take a rest, but uh, okay. Okay. Of course, now you can see the jack o' lanterns, which was not part of the plan. Of course, uh, I could take them out too. Now that I'm. All right. Oh, that's coarse dirt. I don't want to use coarse dirt. top level of water off. Of course, uh, depending on how the water flows, I might have to end up refilling the pool. Yep. Since I killed the source blocks. Back. Yep. Okay. Also, since I have plenty of light, I think maybe I'll take out those, uh, take out the jack-o'-lanterns. Uh, do I have, okay. I think I left some stone brick over here. Uh, one of these. So there's some slabs. Grab the actual brick. Or actual stone, so I can brickify it. Sixteen should do it. Oh, that was a skeleton. Dude. Yeah, seriously. What are you doing over here? <laughs> I didn't expect him here with all this light. But uh, he was not happy. Does not like my design choices. Okay, so if I go, go ahead and take out all the pumpkin then. You can leave the 
Ooh, actually, yes. I think leaving the ones in the corners actually is a good idea. So, because what'll, because that'll then leave enough light in the, well, it won't. Well, no, it will leave, some light will shine through the slabs, which was the whole point. And, uh, that was before I decided to put in a chandelier. So, right. Right there. Okay. Okay, so now I just need to go get some water. And that'll be good. Ooh, you know... No, that's got to be plenty of light. Nothing's going to spawn in there, right? Oh, I'm paranoid about it. I think it'll be okay. Should be fine. Hang on a sec, guys. Okay, I'm back. As I ponder the imponderables. Um, I have no idea what I came down here for. It wasn't anything useful. Oh, I was thinking of doing some slabs. And then I changed my mind. So, let me go ahead and put this first round of water in. And since the sun is rising, then I can quickly go and get more. Unfortunately, I can't get it from my well here because uh, I don't have infinite water because of how the water is falling. Okay. Oh, there's a skeleton. He lacks the uh, flaming instinct so many skeletons have. And... There. That'll teach him. I'm gonna go look, see if he drops some arrows. some experience. So different down there. Okay. At some point, I actually needed to... Uh, I've got an... Because mm. the anvil, you need like three blocks of iron, right? Yeah. I've got... Oh, boy. I don't have enough iron to make an anvil up here if I needed to. Which is going to stink. Yeah, well, what I want to do, let me go, is, uh, um, fill that in a minute. I want to build a tunnel from the mountain out over there somewhere. Um, and then once I have that, I'll be able to run back, um, more easily to, um, the Happy Valley, right? And uh, and then from the ha obviously from the Happy Valley, I can run everywhere else. But that'll mean um, can I get out of the pool? Yes, I can get out of the pool. <laughs> but see, that'll mean then I can go get all of that other stuff I have, because I have 120 um, squares of r track. Then I can build railroad under that whole deal, right? And some railroad action will make... So basically what I'll do is I will... Where's that village? The village is over... It's right over there. 
So what I can do is I could build build my tunnel. Maybe over to the desert. And build a small castle stables train depot. And then that way I can run over to the the village if I had an had an itch for company. But then I can just when I ride horses, I can ride the horse to the stable, hop the train, train takes me into the castle, do stuff, take the train back, hop on my horse, and ride, ride like the wind. So yeah, that that's better. That's definitely better. Than the the floating water. That was just Arkhal. Got the little dirt path. And then, yeah, I think um, this will end up being. I'll end up having stairs down. This goes to there. I might even widen that out a little bit. Or turn the stairs around and go back down that way. So I can hit all of my levels of stuff. Because I don't want to have to take the uh, waterfall down. <laughs> oh, this is fun too. Let's see. Right. Um, where is it? So this is the lake. Oh, right. I gotta go down further. And then right in here, I've got <laughs> secret room. Oh, <laughs> there's actually a hole here. Yeah. There's an air gap right here because of where I put the water. Okay. Oh, and my crops are all grown. Fabulous. Oh, I even have an axe. Sweet. Yep. All right, so I'll grab some seeds. You know, can't plant uh, wheat without seeds. And some carrots and some potatoes. Okay. Yep, and some. Someday, well, and probably after I go out and I'm able to pick up the rest of my stuff from my various other builds, um, I'll have other cool things happening. Oh, I suppose. Come on. There we go. Still got a bunch of things that show up there on occasion, which is. Annoying, actually. Um, okay. Quite a lot of carrots. So carrots are a decent food source. I like the baked potatoes because they, they fill two slots. Um, but the problem with them is that they, uh, you have to cook them. Which uh, sort of implied in the name, I know, but okay. Well, this one's a um. 
Oh, no, they're regular potatoes, yeah. For a minute, I thought they were the baked potatoes. Seriously, pumpkins. <laughs> they're growing quickly. Okay. Actually, the plan is to cover this up and not be able to get down here from this door. But uh, it's been too convenient so far, so I haven't done it. Okay. So let's see. That one's good. Let's, so let me do this. I want to come out here. Where do I leave my maps? Um, seriously, where did I leave my maps? Um, they're not there. Oh, there they are. Okay. <laughs> Scared myself for a minute. <laughs> I kind of need these because let's see some of these I am on it's only come on drive load up got my mappy thing my map map <laughs> got a layout here of uh, of where all my maps are. Okay. So let's see. 14 I think is a new one. And 0. Let's see. I am not on 14. Not on 0, obviously. Oops. I'm also throwing my maps across. The 13... Two. Oh, I might be on map two, actually. Yes, so I am on map two, which is directly below map zero. This, uh, that bay right there at the bottom is that thing there at the top. So, okay. So you can see there's some land in between, but it's not. Ooh, I wonder if I'll even be able to ride that. I might have to build a couple of tunnels. Oops, darn it. All right, so much time I have left. Not much. So, so there's some land over to there. Obviously, because that's, uh, I've seen it. Let me come up here. See how much of this it uh, fills in from the top. If it even fills in anything. So I'm getting to the point where I now need to start thinking about picking up some more supplies. No, it just doesn't want to. Uh, doesn't want to draw out beyond. I mean, I can see. I can see it, but it doesn't want to give me that. So I've got this island here. And I don't know if I can make it out there. All right, well, let me try something real quick. Oops. Don't have a huge amount of time left, but let's see what we can see. We 
with um, a boat. Because, you know, boats are fun. Annoying to control, but, you know. Okay. So let's see. Get out of here towards this. Uh... Oh, look, Desert Temple. I guess that's where I'm going to end up building my uh, stuff. Because if I can just hijack that, then I don't have to build it. Well, that's cool. Also, there's treasure in desert temples. Sometimes good treasure, sometimes not. So, all right. And there's a small rabbit convention. Huh. Poor rabbit out there all by himself. Okay, whoa. Okay, the castle actually looks kind of cool over there. I need to put some windows in that in that tower. But some other time. Okay, so let's whip around this way. Oops. And check out this uh this village that's right over here. by this dark oak forest. That's not a bad little village. It's uh all right. Oh slow down, slow down. Don't want to break the boat. Okay, so my hopes of actually being able to just ride this are uh have been dashed because <laughs> we've got epic biome cliff happening over here I mean, <laughs> this is this is where the uh, procedural generation just sort of broke okay yep I'm definitely gonna take that over So what that means is that I'm going to have to do all sorts of stuff over here then. Because what I've got with this is actually a small island. Okay, let me see if I can just sail around it here real quick. <laughs> Got some swampy goodness happening over there. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of fun now you can see the castle on the map. It's a pretty, uh, that's a pretty honking. You can almost see building something inside that, too. Okay. So we got trees and stuff. We got the village. This is over here somewhere. Okay, yep, I've got islands. So I'm going to have to have all sorts of, oh, breaks, 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 breaks. Go that way, that way, that way, that way, that way, that way. <laughs> okay. So there's the village on that island there. Okay. Yeah, my castle just looks cool. Come over here. 
with the sort of lighthouse watchtower and then the castle and the pavilion. That said, put some windows in that tower right there. That's kind of... Okay. All right, but I definitely have a problem. Let me see. If I go... Let me go this way. Because I really only want to build one undersea tunnel and not several. So there's a... I've, I figure my desert temple right there is going to be my castle and <laughs> stables. Since uh, it's there and it's cool. Okay. So let's see. Got some land masses over here. Oops. Okay. Guess I'll go back that way. All right, that looks a little odd. Yeah. <laughs> I might need to carve some. I mean, that's a tower. So that's not too bad, but. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let me whip around this way real quick. Let's see if I can sail. I might have to go around the other side. No, nope, this looks like it's going to come to a stop. And it certainly does. Okay. It's narrow, though. Alright, so let's see. Maybe I can, I think I can creep through here, slowly, so I don't break my boat. I did make a second one just in case, but get out of the way, chicken. I don't want you to break my boat either. Thank you. Okay, so I've got a path that way. Some magic seeds. Alright. A lot of swamp and desert. And, you know, the elusive saltwater cow. Oh, that's a squid. Okay. <laughs> I have seen saltwater cows. Uh, um, I think I'm not going to be able to go through that. Because it's... Uh, Oh yeah, that's a good solid piece of... Um, oh, okay. I have a shovel. Come on. I might as well just cut this up open. Or get stuck on it, one of the two. Okay. Oh. Carefully. There's a... Lily pad minefield. Yeah. Turns out lily pads and mine uh, and boats don't get along real well. Okay. So, I have some land. I mean, that desert biome uh, freak out over there isn't that far from this which is actual which is actually connected then down there which I could then potentially ride through and get to um, get to the castle at Happy Valley Okay. Well, crap. 
my hopes for an easy uh, transition are gonna are dashed. Easy transport between the two. I mean, I could build. I mean, I could build um, a bridge from the swamp to that to this island here. And that island, I think, has the yeah, the desert temple on it. Okay. Yeah, there it is. There's the desert temple, which is just a hop, skip, and a jump across a large body of water. Oh, move, squid. Okay, so. Of course, that, that isn't that bad, actually. Oh, that could be interesting. Is what if I built not an underwater tunnel, but an overwater bridge? It would be big. Whew, that was close. But uh, that would be really interesting. Okay, I have to, that tower just looks cool as a lighthouse. Yeah. Definitely looks cool from that side. Okay. Because um, I could bring the bridge... from let's see okay nothing's gonna be able to shoot at me from over there so I could bring the bridge in from over here say so somewhere right in here build a big freaking bridge over to there and then from then across the desert over towards that swamp build a bridge that way so I just somebody just swim under me suddenly there was lots of splashing <laughs> huh that is a possibility. Big, long suspension bridge type deal. Right into the... No. No, I don't want to ruin that look. It just looks too cool from the from this side, so right. I mean, you could because you've got the island and the castle, but I could certainly do the underwater over there to the uh, towards that desert temple, and then build a bridge. Yeah, from the top of that island over towards the swamp. Okay. 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 That's uh. That's doable. I don't, I don't know. Cause I, I need a second opinion. Do you think this would still look okay with a bridge sticking out of it? <laughs> Depends on the kind of bridge. It would be a huge long bridge that goes all the way over there. Still and... Um, doable I mean, with the right style. Yeah. Because I, I, and it would have to be tall. It would have to come in like up here somewhere, about where that zombie is, right? Okay. 
Oh, excuse me, I'm all sneezy. And then, uh, thank goodness for the mute button. And then it would span across. Is it all the way over there? So, but I don't know. It just looks too cool like that. As long as it's a grand stone stylish bridge. It would yes. be. It would be a grand bridge. It's it would doable. be, yeah. Especially I mean, if you put big statue that either side where it begins. Like the Argonath or something. Yeah. <laughs> that would be bad. Okay. That would be impressive. Statues would be hard. <laughs> they are hard. I've done it before. Uh, especially since I'm not going into creative to do it. <laughs> All right. Because, yeah. Uh, on the other hand, it wouldn't be that hard to drop down. Let's see. What am I at? 63? How far down would I need to go? What does that say? 50? Okay. All right. Now, where's my boat? Where'd my boat go? Okay, there it is. So I only have to go down uh, 13 squares below ground level. Hey, Benny, how's it going? Which is then somewhere underneath that <laughs> big pile of stone. Well, 13 plus three or four for the actual tunnel and then dig what do you think that is six no hundred square I think it's longer than that yeah let's not look at the enderman not that he could do much out to me out here in the boat hey shell shot case how's it going welcome both of you to the show here all right so what am I at Z1034 and then if I go up this way okay so now that's so there's a hundred so that's not too bad call it uh, and then over to so, that would add up to about so it's about 200, 200. yeah because if I come up right at the desert temple over there that's about 200 squares which is a lot <laughs> yeah. but not uh, too unreasonable especially if I can then get across and get my uh, pick up my rail and all my, or, or build more rail and just take that by train so I don't have to worry about uh, going on by boat and stuff and I, then I can you know leave my horses there at the, at that at the temple take the train over here to the castle and uh, yeah and I still keep the castle still keeps that natural look uh, oh, see there it is the rare saltwater cow and uh, yeah I like that oh brakes 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 hey Magoni how's it going welcome to the show yeah it, oh it was I haven't I haven't uh, hadn't come out here to look at it since I built it um, so it was so I have just a couple of minutes left let me come zip out here again so yeah so it's I need to really should bring that tower down just a little bit well I what I want to do is maybe put some stairs in so it angles down into the hill but yeah I haven't taken a both boat out this way to take a look. I do need to put some windows in this tower. Yeah. And, uh, well, good. 
glad it's going well for you out, th out there. Now, watch out, you stupid chicken. Um, this looks a little silly, where it's got the cutout <laughs> for the windows and the throne room and the overlook there. Hey, it makes sense. You had a... Did you take that test yet, or you still have... Is that still uh, a ways off? Oops. Suddenly, I run out of water. Yeah. Well, I'll just have to uh, burn my book. There it is. Okay, really? Oh, did I bonk it? Did you go away? I have two boats. Okay, cool. Turns out it's a little harder to walk on ice. Um, yeah, this will be nice when I get this. What I also want to do is build a small boat dock right well, here for... Actually, if you built the giant ship that docks there, you could then have a cutout so that the ship itself becomes your boat dock. Okay, that would be kind of odd and kind of fun. Oh, cool. Poor donkey hiding in his in my little workshop under there. Yeah, so this is my throne room. I need to cut out here and get some nether rack for some fire. And I need to put some carpet in. But I've got so I did this fountain again. And that goes way deep. And I've got this cool little uh just built this one today. This little uh, pond with the chandeliers and things. And then uh, this is just tall. <laughs> so far, no, nothing else in there yet. I may not put anything else in there. I may just cut windows just so that I have windows and, you know. Yeah, well, this is this is fun too. So let me watch your eyes. This gets dizzy. So I go up the spiral staircase. Ah, uh, I haven't done anything with this room yet to decorate it. But then up here is the bedroom, which again more nether rack here for a fireplace with the window behind, which will look cool. That's the top of the spiral staircase. With uh, this little balcony thing going on here. So you can, it sort of overlooks the pool and the lighthouse. And then uh, slip around behind. Hop on, hop one of these ladders. And you've got sort of battlements and all that fun stuff. Actually, if you go down the right one of these, because I haven't filled any of these in, most of those are stairs. One of these, you can go jump on the bed. <coughs> Don't, except for this whole ladder thing right here. Which, unfortunately, you can't jump high enough to grab the ladder and climb up. But, And I need to put in some glass up here. But uh, yeah, it's, this was this was fun. I love how this fireplace turned out. With the come up with stone brick here with some stairs, stone brick stairs, and then the slabs coming across this way. It's just it's just cool. I've been really excited how this turned out. Um, I also am going to put in another probably two more beds here. It's king size, right? But I tried to keep um, the way the castle worked with the mountain natural, which is why you've got a lot of there's a lot of stone brick and then stone. Where I basically just replaced anything that wasn't stone with stone brick. And then this fun uh, fun guy here. Yeah, and spiral staircases. <laughs> 
So, yeah, it'll be cool when I get the carpet in. Um, and uh, all that good stuff. So, Of course, after having seen it from outside, I'm tempted to build like a pillar or something here. <laughs> you know, sort of like, like this. Of course, I'm tempted to do that over on this side too, but the uh, just looks a little strange. So, all right, but I have now looked at the time, and I am also looking longingly at the tissue box because my allergies have just decided to gang up on me and, and attack. So, I'm going to uh, sign off for the night. Come look out over here, over the village, and just out of sight, the desert temple. And uh, I will see y'all tomorrow, probably, hopefully. Um, so I'll start start streaming about 6.30 uh, in the morning tomorrow for about an hour. And then uh, again, 6 or 6.30 uh, tomorrow night. So till then, be excellent to each other. And uh, this is Music Free Gaming signing off.